This week, Wahoo Fitness released a number of new firmware updates for the Kicker Direct Drive Trainer and also the Snap, which I couldn't fit on the table here. So what I thought I'd do today is run through the entire crew. I've got the original Kicker, Kicker 14, the Kicker 2 slash Kicker 16, the Kicker 3 slash Kicker 17, and this new Snap or the Snap 17. If you're running with me, I'll put the links below to every one of these websites where the firmware is listed. A handy feature of the Kicker Trainer is that they all use the same power brick. So I can line them up here, plug them all in, check the firmware updates on the phone, and ride on. Okay, let's get to it. So the original Kicker 14, the plugs are around the back here. So we plug that in, pull out the phone. Now we're using the Wahoo Fitness app. This one here, it doesn't have any lights on, so you know it's on or not. So as long as we connect, add new sensor, and there we have it, picked up via Bluetooth. Give it a few seconds. We scroll down, checking server, and you see down the bottom there, 1.5.68. Now, as of October 19th, 2017, that's the latest firmware. Here's a trick. If you click on the top left icon five times, one, two, three, four, five, bang, you get a whole list of uh, firmwares there. You really don't need to worry about this a lot unless you want to drop back to another firmware. I'm always on the latest firmware and if I encounter any issues, I then raise a support ticket with Wahoo and they're usually pretty good getting onto things. So we have other options there and they password the ones they don't want you to get to. 1.5.68 is the latest one for the original kicker. I've done another video on that previously. I'll link below where it changes the strain gauge. That to model mode. So it becomes more like the kicker two and kicker three, seven, 16 and 17. So we're up to date on the pink kicker, original kicker. 1.5.68, remember to check yours if you own one of those. Okay, we go back, on to the next one. Kicker 2 slash Kicker 16, and it's not just yellow, it's orange as well. Okay, the lights come on on the top there, so we're powered up. We add new sensor, it's there straight away. Now I had a beta firmware on here, so this may be one of the latest releases. We scroll down and it is to 3.4.62 on the Kicker 2. Again, one, two, three, four, five in the top left-hand corner there. We can see the updates from 3.4.62, updated optical sensor thresholds. These things don't work too well in direct sunlight. The little optical sensor's down here. On the original Kicker, it's up here. They've fixed a little bit of that within firmware. Also improved Ant Plus connections. Always good to have more reliability. And Ant Plus FEC updates for power consistency. Talk about that one in a second. Okay, over to the Kicker 17, so I'll just disconnect from that. And now one of the current latest and greatest, the Kicker 3 slash 17, orange over here. Oh, by the way, these are my own stickers that I've put on there as well. They usually come in gray. If you're after stickers, let me know what color your preference would be. They're pretty cool to customize them. Okay, we spin that to wake it up. We go to the Wahoo Fitness app, sensors, add new sensor, this is the only one I have plugged in at the moment. Connecting. Ha ha! We have 3.3.61 update available. Ant Plus FEC updates for power consistency. Right, okay. Same with this one and this one. If you were connecting to the power source Ant Plus FEC, it was a little jagged, it was unsmoothed. So in the latest firmware updates, they've smoothed both of these out. So if you're connecting to Ant Plus FEC, the power profile is a little better than up and down everywhere. Anyhow, we hit update now, and we'll run through the process. By the way, if you notice any screen recording from an iPhone, it always says the time is 9.41 a.m. It's just an Apple thing. It actually is 12.42 p.m. here. Don't know why they do that. Let me know below if you know why it's 9.41. As with any firmware update, make sure the power doesn't pull halfway through your update and make sure your phone has a full battery charge as well. You don't want things to go a little screwy if things stop halfway through. Okay, there we go. It says we are done. We turn Bluetooth off and on. We go back there, update complete on the Kicker 17. Reconnects, bit of a spin. 3.3.61, latest. So as an inside tip, we'll go one, two, three, four, five in the top left-hand corner on the icon, and we can see all the other firmwares in the list there. So we are on the latest, 3.3.61. Happy days. Okay, one more to go. So that's happy, we're updated, and onto the snap. 
Let me show you that. Sorry, that's plugged in and the lights there are on. So add new sensor, kick a snap comes up straight away. Connecting, just spin it, just, oh, there we go. Another update for the kick a snap. 2.3.59, updated algorithm, and plus FEC power updates for consistency. Again, it's that smoothness when you connect to the power source over FEC. Awesome, we hit update now. Same process as before. Don't try this at home. The desk is strong, but three kickers is probably a bit too much. Okay, there we go, firmware update complete on the snap. So again, we swipe up, we Bluetooth off, Bluetooth on, happy days. We scroll back down and 2.3.59, again, one, two, three, four, five, top left hand corner on the icon, just to have a bit of a snoop. Okay, so the first release of the snap was 2.3.58. So there's been a few revisions since then. Always a good reminder to check for firmware updates on your devices that you have always have a better experience, or I've always had a better experience going to the latest firmware and dealing with those issues rather than dealing with the bugs that are currently there. They've squished in other firmware updates. So if you're an owner of just one of these devices, it's easy to load the app and just check for firmware updates within the Wahoo Fitness app as I showed just then. But you can also go to the Wahoo Fitness website. So I'll link below to those and they've got the Kicker 1, Kicker 2, Kicker 3, New Snap and Original Snap listed and there's dates when the firmware has been updated. So make sure you're on the latest firmware and after any firmware update, I do the standard 10 minute warm up and spin down or advanced spin down just to make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. Now if you don't see the advanced spin down in the menus, here's the trick. Connect to your Kicker via the Wahoo Fitness app. We hit spin down and you can see the advanced spin down isn't there. Click on the text five times, one, two, three, four, five. Hello, we now have perform advanced spin down. That's how to get to advanced spin down if you can't see it. Advanced spin down will change this thing from strain gauge mode into model mode, which makes it more like the two and the three. And these and the snap, it'll just calibrate them a little bit more accurately. There we go, happy days. The fleet is upgraded. Well, half the fleet's upgraded. I've got a few more kickers out in the shed. So happy days. Check your firmwares and have a good time on your bike indoors. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.